Okay, maybe there's not an actual literal monster in your closet, but you might have a clutter monster hiding in your closet. If you ever come home and feel totally anxious and overwhelmed by the state of your clutter, if there are certain items that are stacked around your house or shoved into drawers that make you feel completely overwhelmed at just the thought of them, you might have a clutter monster. My name is Star Hansen and I am a clutter whisperer, which means that I go into the chaotic cluttered spaces in your life and help you make sense of why the clutter will just not go away no matter what you are trying. So let's talk about the concept of a clutter monster. I came up with this a few years ago when I was doing a presentation for a company and I, <laughs> I said this line in passing that really stuck and I said, what if the monster in your closet is simply a dust bunny? And that has really, really stuck with me because oftentimes I don't think that the clutter in our lives is as bad as it seems, but it feels monstrous. It feels overwhelming. It feels like it's going to kill you, but guess what? It's not going to, but we do have to acknowledge that there are four different types of monsters that might be living in your clutter. And I want to explore what they are for you today. You would be surprised to know that the clutter monster is not simply an object or a style of stuff that is getting in your way. It's actually way deeper than that. There are four main monsters that get in the way of you being organized. The first monster that gets in your way is unprocessed feelings. These big, giant, overwhelming feelings, right? If you have things in your clutter from a loved one who passed, you might have grief in there. If you have a lot of guilt for something that happened in the past that you wish had gone differently, you might have guilt in there. If someone did you wrong and you have objects that remind you of that, you might have a lot of rage or anger. Big, unprocessed feelings tend to be the number one thing that stops us from getting organized. So we have to learn how to deal with those uncomfortable feelings. The next monster that is often hiding is that inner critic. Ooh, that one is rough. That monster is coming for you hot. That monster is coming in. It's going to tell you everything you've ever done wrong, why you're not going to be able to get it together this time, why your neighbor has their life together and you don't. This inner critic has nothing nice to say. So that is the second monster. And we really have to know how to deal with that monster to really make progress. The next monster is delayed living. Delayed living is you thinking that you cannot have your full life or start to date or take on that new hobby until you're totally organized. You are basically keeping your life under wraps until you get it all together. And let's be real, getting it all together is a moving target, right? We live in a material world with lots of stuff around us. It may take years to accomplish, or it just might be a very tricky thing to create for yourself, and that's okay. But waiting to start your life until you've got it all together is definitely holding you back from getting organized. The last and final monster that's hiding in your closet is thinking that all clutter is the same. When we think that all clutter is created equally, we get ourselves into some major trouble because there is a huge difference between the stack of paperwork that your kids brought home that was stuck inside of their desk, 90% of which is probably trash, and a box of items that came from your mother's house when she passed away. What we have to do is start to look at the details of our clutter because if we see clutter as all the same, it becomes overwhelming and so stressful to make a dent. So we have to start looking at two different things. Where is our clutter, meaning the location that it lives, and what is our clutter? Meaning what are the objects that continue to build up there? Because I have never in my 20 plus years of organizing ever, ever, ever found clutter to have a random pattern. There is always some sort of symbolism or pattern or structure built in there and we have to start looking. So those are the four monsters that are trying their best to keep you disorganized. And what we have to do is we have to really stop being so terrified of what's in the closet, right? Like when we think about why monsters are so scary, they're scary because they're not real. And our imagination has taken hold of our life. And what we need to do, right? If you think of a little kid who's in like the bedroom and they're scared of a monster in the closet, what do you do? You flip on the light and you take in the details and the truth of the situation. So we have to really acknowledge first and foremost, what is getting us stuck? What is really there hiding in the closet? Is it a vacuum cleaner or a, <laughs> a chair with a trench coat hung over it? 
what is that clutter monster? If you want to know what your clutter monster is, you can do that by going to starhansoncom forward slash monster quiz, and you can download the listen to the monster in your closet clutter clearing quiz. And that will tell you which of those four monsters has been haunting you and which one is keeping you stuck in total chaos all of the time. Because until you understand the monster in your closet that's holding you back, it is going to be so difficult to make real progress when it comes to the clutter in your life. And once you know what your clutter monster is, I will give you tips and ideas for how to start shifting that clutter monster's presence in your life. You do not have to live with monsters haunting your cupboards and closets and walkways. You can set yourself free from clutter and really allow yourself a fresh start today. If you are tired of feeling stressed out, overwhelmed, and terrified by what's hiding in your closet, take the listen to the monster in your closet clutter clearing quiz and find out who's hiding in there and how you can evict them once and for all. If you want to learn even more tips and tricks for how to get rid of the clutter monsters in your house, subscribe below and I will take you on this adventure. It's been fun today. Come back and join me again soon.